Stevenson gets the 79-74 win over Lebanon Valley tonight. Glenn Clark with the head coach, Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, truly a little bit of everything in this game, right? Build up some big leads. They fight their way back. You guys have to you know, battle back a little bit. What to you was the difference in holding on to get a big win tonight? Well, I thought our kids made some plays, uh, specifically down the stretch. And we got some good play off the bench. Um, uh, Miles was excellent. Um, EJ really bailed us out there in the first half. Um, and I, I thought uh, uh, Bo had some good minutes. Uh, Cam Sapienza had some good minutes. Uh, we were very fortunate to uh, uh, get good production from, from our bench, and we were able to uh, extend the game a little bit um, in relationship to uh, our pressure. But credit them. you know They were hard to get, to get a hold of, and we knew that going in. They've got um, some really good offensive guys, and um, Will did a great job of getting those guys the ball. It really seems to help when you're knocking down your shots. It wasn't just Connor. I mean, obviously he stands out tonight, but Cam knocking down a few in the early going. It, when, when the outside shooting is on, this team can be really dangerous. Yeah, and and sometimes we fall into that if we're scoring offensively, then it's like, well, we'll just go back and get it at the other end. So we do, made a concerted effort to try to defend a little bit better. There were a couple pressure points that we weren't getting to in the first half. Didn't guard the ball very well, so we tried to make some adjustments in terms of how we were guarding in the second half. Um, and I thought that at times uh, we did a pretty good job, and, I, and our big kids made a – uh, made it hard on Colin Jones. He's you know one of the best players in, in the country. So um, you know that he's going to get his. We just want to make it hard for him, and I thought we did. I know it feels like a broken record. We keep talking about Nate, but this is now three straight double-doubles for him. This is a first-year player. He makes his free throws, and you know he defends. He throws things at him. I, I, I don't know what else there is to say about this young man and how much better he might prove to be. Yeah, and then, of course, Coach Stewart pours uh, water on it and goes in there and says, Nate, you had 13 boards. You should have had 17. <laughs> <laughs> so – so uh, he, he keeps getting better, he, yeah. you know, and he has a, a innate instinct to go get the ball. And um, uh, we're really excited. I mean, we've got uh, multiple years with him. Uh, obviously, you want to finish this year strong. And, and um, as he p continues to progress, we think he's going to be one of the better players, um, you know, on, on Saturday in our conference, not just in his junior and senior year. Coach, does this feel like the type of win that, like, this is a, a message about what Stevenson basketball is all about? Like, this, if, if we play like this, we can beat everybody in the conference? Yeah, we think we can play better, you know, and so that's an encouraging thing. Um, uh, we've got a chance, but but um, the problem with that is everybody else does too. Sure. Uh, that's what kind of league it is. And so you've got to do things correctly, and you've got to do those correctly for uh, 40 minutes, and you've got to do it with aggression and um, be assertive and, and certainly – uh, make good decisions and if you're able to do that you're going to have success in this league no matter who you are what team you are um, and we were able to to uh, have some mental toughness about us down the down the stretch and, and made some good plays right, coach congratulations we'll see you back here on saturday glenn i'd be remiss if i didn't uh, reach out to uh, uh, brad McAllister. brad is uh, uh, one of my very best friends and uh, wasn't here today on the bench and and my thoughts are with him um, we've uh, We've really developed a really good friendship over the years, and I have a great, great respect for him. So wishing him um, um, speedy uh, recovery and getting back on the sidelines. Well said. Obviously a legend in this conference. I appreciate that, Coach. All right, we'll see you Saturday. Thank you, Glenn. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. Go MustangSports.tv.